Okay, we are going to hook up one, two, three, four, five, five resistors in both series and parallel. And I'm gonna measure the voltage and the current. So I have here some toys. Here's my power supply. Uh, here is a multimeter I'm going to use as an ammeter. And here is a multimeter I'm gonna use as a voltmeter. Okay, so this is a breadboard. Very nice, huh? So the, this allows us to make some connections without too much difficulty. So here I have a jumper cable. So if you look at each one of these rows, all of these pins, holes, are connected together. So if I can put this in one of those holes and put another one in another hole, it's just like connecting them together. So all of these are connected. All of these are connected. Okay. Don't worry about these things. Those are used later. So I have these resistors plugged in and so you'll notice that I have it one on each side it doesn't really matter but they're not connected to each other okay so let's just connect one resistor in and measure the voltage and current so I'm gonna hook this I'll put it right there right there so then now I can connect a wire to this end I'm gonna put this one right there okay so now I can act just like normal resistor so let's connect everything up so I have my power supply, I'm going to come out of my power supply, I'm going to go to my resistor, so I'm going to use an alligator clip. Now I'm going to go from the resistor to the ammeter. So I'm going to go from here to, now I'm going to use this as a milliamp. So now it's going out through there. It's got to go back to the power supply. So I'm going to go from common to here. Okay, so now I have my ammeter hooked up. Um, now remember, the ammeter should be on DC, should be in milliamps, and let's turn that up to uh, 2000 just to make sure we don't go too high. Now for the voltage, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to have this on volts. And I'm going to have it at 20 because I'm not going to go over 20 volts. So I want the common and the volt plug. So now I want to put this across this. So it could connect it there with wires, but these are already connected. So I'm just going to stick it in right there. And stick this in right there. Okay, let, let's just turn everything on to make sure things are working. So that's, oh, that's, that's not the on button. That's on. That's on. Turn the power down. Turn that on. Um, okay, so I can turn this up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm at, let's just say, uh, 1 volt, 0.2 milliamp, 0.2 amps. That's on amps. Milliamps, yeah. Milliamps. So that's really low. Okay, so we could turn that up higher. Okay, so there, there you get it. Fine one resistor. Now if I want to have two resistors in series, I want to go from here through the resistor, through this other resistor. So I'm actually going to take this, put it right here, and I'm going to take a jumper cable and go from here to here. Okay, so now look what the current's doing. It's coming in through that one, through that one, and then back. So these are in series. They don't look like they're in series, but they're in series. Okay. Now what if I want to do another one in series? Now I'm going to switch back to the other side, take another jumper cable. Now I want to go from this plug to the next one. I'm, going to, I'm snaking my way around, you see? Now I have three. So it goes, can you see that? It goes in, back, back. Now I want to do four. So now I'm going to go from here to there. And I'm going to connect it right here. And then one more. I'm going to switch this to the other side. And I'm going to go from here to there. Okay, so now it snakes back and forth. Now, that might look messy, but could you imagine if you use these thicker wires, how messy it would be? It would be a disaster. Okay, now let's do <coughs> uh, parallel. 
I'm going to go back to just one resistor. Right there. Okay, so now I'm just measuring one resistor. Can you see that? Okay. Uh, so now what I want to do is put this in parallel with that. So I need to just uh, connect this wire to this other one. And this wire, I'm holding the camera, sorry. Right there to this one. So I didn't change the points where I connect my uh, power coming in, my current coming in. It's still coming in and coming out. But now I have the current can come and split. Some can go to that one and some can go to that one and it comes back. So I didn't need to really take things apart. Now to add the next one, I'm just going to put another jumper right there and add the next one. And I'm going to do one on this side. Now I have three resistors in parallel, okay? Let's add one more and then I'm running out of cables, so, and time. So now I'll just add another jumper right here to the next one. It's hard to see when you're holding the camera. And then this one. Now I have one, two, three, I have four resistors in parallel. So that's how you do that. Hope that helps.